In this example I'm going to show you how to use Sigma XL to create both basic and advanced Pareto charts. This example is taken from the Sigma XL workbook. Now for this example we are using the customer data data set. You can find this data set in the sample data folder which is in your Sigma XL installation directory. So once you have the customer data set open, you're going to make sure that the Sigma XL tab is selected. Then you're going to click on graphical tools and click on basic Pareto chart. Ensure entire data table is selected and click next. Now for your Pareto category, select major complaints and then click on next. Now you'll see the basic Pareto options window opens. Now you'll be on the other bar slash come sum tab and on this tab under the come sum line heading make sure on top of first bar is selected and then you can click on the chart options tab and on this tab under category x font select slanted under data labels select bars and come sum and under secondary y axis make sure that percent is selected. Now click on save defaults and click finish. And you'll see that a Pareto chart is produced using the settings that we just input in the basic Pareto options window. Now to create an advanced Pareto chart, click on sheet one of your data set, click on the Sigma Excel tab, then click graphical tools, and click on advanced Pareto options. and the advanced Pareto options window opens. Now under the heading order of bars, select same order. Under come sum line, make sure independent of bars is selected. Now after making sure of this, click on the chart options tab. Now under category X font, select slanted. Under data labels, select bars. And under secondary Y axis, make sure that percent is selected and make sure save defaults is selected and you can click on finish. Now it gives us the option to select our data. Now make sure use entire data table is selected and click next. And here you're going to be selecting major complaint for your Pareto category and customer type as your group category X2 here. Uh, you can click OK. And when I zoom out, you can see that a Pareto chart of major customer complaints is produced for each customer type, customer types one through three.